chicken tenders and JoJo's. Oh, goody. And it's cold in here. Who turned off the heat? Dang it, it's cold in here. It was nice, and then I turned off the heat for some reason. Okay, let's find some food here. Ooh, JoJo's. What did he give me tonight? I don't know what he gave me. Mm. Chicken tenders. Mm. Honey mustard. Mmm. Mmm. Jojo's. Mmm. Heaven. Mmm. Something to drink. Oh, it's chilly in here. Whose idea was it to turn the heat off? Mm. Okay. Got all the goodness from that. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely. Still kind of warm. Mm. What movie is that? Man with the Golden Arm? Yep. Man with the Golden Arm. Frankie. And the witch woman he was hanging with. Good evening. Mmm. Mmm. Had a salad for lunch. Doing the do, Carrie. What's shaking tonight? Well, that earlier stream was full of some prime douchebags. Wow. I just don't get people. Yes. Half a 
Dunkin' Donuts sandwich and half a cup of coffee at 1 o'clock. Then we walked around the train show for four, three hours. Then we went to Bob Evans and I had their wildfire chicken salad. It's okay. But I'm, that was it. 4.30. I'm hungry. <laughs> Baba. Oh, the basement? No, the first floor is the rental. The second floor is where I'm going to live. I, You know, I, I suppose. <laughs> if I were to get... You know, the basement couldn't put anybody down there without a lot of work. <laughs> first floor needs a lot of work. Freaking, when my Steve, friend Steve brought me home from, the, from uh, the train show, we stopped here for a minute before we went to eat, and there was a plumbing van in the driveway for the neighbor. Well, yeah, Carrie, I know. What's with the heater? Jesus, who's adjusting these things? I want to talk to the supervisor. Jesus, I three times to do that. Ugh. I want a heater with a remote. <laughs> mm, that's good. Oh, that's good. I wonder why he charged me ten bucks tonight. Did he give me more chicken? Maybe they raised the prices. Thought it would be nine bucks. Whatever. That's nice. I wish I could do that. You know, even if I could. You know, pick up a, a, you know, some sort of wood stove. Then you need, you know, you need a piece of steel or tile on the floor. Then you need backsplashes. Then you need stainless steel chimney crap. I mean, by the time you're done, it's $1,000. And where would I put it? <laughs> Small rooms don't make it easy. <laughs> you can come here. I got a bunch of trees you can have. <laughs> I've got a few friends who heat with wood. They, they need like sometimes five or six cords or more. Is that right? Is that the right amount? I forget. Mm. Don't they have wood fired heat pumps yet? <laughs> Uh, 
five cords of wood wouldn't be uh, worth coming here for. <laughs> I'm sure of that. It's still not enough. <laughs> And I'm sure it wouldn't cross the border. <laughs> Can't even move stuff across county lines here. Sometimes. What am I doing? In winter, but my wife. Oh, that's not a lot. Yeah, I mean it's a lot, but yeah. No, I haven't had a Mountain Dew. I love Mountain Dew. What am I doing? So I bought a few tools at the train show. There's a, if you're looking for cool, small tools and stuff, hobby type tools and little stuff. Hold on, let me find the card. This guy's over in the Pittsburgh area, but he, he does hit a few shows a year. Ah, where is it? I thought I had the cards easily. Come on, come on, come on. You want to buy all kinds of cool tools and hobby supplies. Cheap forceps, cheap pliers, all kinds of stuff for hobby making, all kinds of little tools, um, screwdrivers, pretty reasonable for a lot of stuff. I bought, uh, where is that bag of stuff I bought? Because I couldn't find my regular hemostats that were always in my, and uh, oh, he's got uh, model train scales on the back. <laughs> N gauge, O gauge, H O gauge. <laughs> yeah, let's see what I bought. in here. I got a new cap too. I'm going to have to have a world premiere of the new beanie. <laughs> it's got a nice logo on it from these guys. They had a lot of nice uh, clothing and shirts and hats and stuff. Really nice stuff. And then I bought the tools. Well, I had a nice red one like that I bought from Arborware. If you guys have ever heard of Arborware on the web, sell Arborist clothing. They're here in Chagrin Falls on the east side of Cleveland. And I lost the damn thing. Freaking lost. It. So I got some tools. I can hold all the reefer at once. Or get your tonsils. So eight inch curved forceps. Nice pair of 
eight inch straight ones that can reach way in. A, uh, these, oh, these are interesting little compound curve forcep. Regular little five inch forcep. And then these interesting ones. They, they have a ratchet stop, uh, hook down at the bottom. How do you open it? A squeeze and, oh, it's opening it's tricky. There it is. Spring loaded. It's got a spring steel spring and pliers with uh, they're flat on the end. Actually, they, these look different. Let me see here. Where's a the light? They need a flashlight. Yeah, they're flat, and then they have a little bit of serration, and then they have, like, cutters or pliers here. I mean, uh, cutters, sorry. Where am I at? Cutters and serration, and then flat up here. So, But it's nice you could lock them closed. And I like the spring-loaded, so say if you're doing something... I always like spring-loaded tools because it's just easier on the hands to to figure out. Never pluck your nose hairs. Do, do you not know that? I actually had that discussion today with a guy at, at the train show. You know why? Because you can, you can, you can, uh, in, in, oh, come on, what are you doing, phone? You can uh, bring airborne nasties into your body through those plucked points in your nose. Always trim your nose hair. Never pluck. It's very dangerous. There's lots of research and science about it. Go read. You can pluck your ears or wax your ears, but never pluck your nose hairs or wax them. Trim only. Trim only. You can induce all kinds of serious uh, harm that way. Lots of research on that. A lot of people don't know it. When I picked up a set, there was a guy standing next to me looking at him, too, and he goes, remember, don't pick your nose hairs. <laughs> I says, I know, I know. <laughs> too funny. Go read. It's. I just saw a video about it, too. Just a week or so ago, something popped up. I could probably find it again, but you can... Carry. <laughs> yeah, because the nose, is, you know, the the brain blood barrier up here in the nose is is so close. It's a very bad place to get infections. So you don't want to pluck them. Just just trim them. I have a little pair of blunt edged little tiny scissors I use to trim. What am I doing? Why am I? I'll just do that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, that's okay, too. You can do that. I got friends who do that. Especially their back hair. Some of them are like freaking cross between a raccoon and a gorilla. Their wives freak out. <laughs> Just is who you are, man. Oh, anybody see the thing on Twitter today? <laughs> a 
a guy in England, 56 year old guy in England. Fifty-six-year-old guy in England had to go to the hospital because he was constipated for two days because he had a damn coconut up his bum. A freaking coconut. I know about getting freaky, but yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> he had to have it surgically removed. <laughs> hey, Huck. Oh, I wouldn't mind waxing. I can take the pain. Oh, that's cool, Huck. We got airborne watchers now. <laughs> Dairy intolerant, yeah. Well, my friend worked at ER once at the Cleveland Clinic years ago, and a guy came in one night with a gerbil. <laughs> Up there, the gerbils are very popular. <laughs> Never heard of the coconut. Why did I turn that heat off? It seemed so nice in here when I got here. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, that's a big ass chicken tender. Look at the size of that baby. Animal cruelty, yeah. <laughs> That's weird stuff, man. But lots of people have ways of getting their freak on. Yeah, did you guys do good out there, Huck? Huck was out there doing a uh, uh, an event in Palm Springs. You may be the first person streaming me on an aircraft. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's that stuff's kind of weird, yeah. Yeah, there's some weird, freaky stuff out there, Carrie. I mean, yeah, it's like, okay. No, nah, I'm not into that. <laughs> But let's not talk about all that. <laughs> we could have some uh, young, young, uh, impressionable people here. <laughs> oh. My friend was flying on a plane today, and he says, they give you these nice slippers in business class. And then he shows his foot. Well, the guy's got, like, freaking gunboats for feet. You know, this is his foot. The, fuck, the freaking slipper ended, like, here. <laughs> it only went from here to here. His foot's hanging, like, five inches off the damn slipper. <laughs> <laughs> he got gypped. <laughs> Somebody came back and said they don't carry Sasquatch size. Oh, nobody won the big, big lottery stuff. 1.1 billion on Tuesday night. Wow. Maybe I'll remember to buy some tickets. I always forget.
Yeah, I've been there. Cheyenne, Wyoming. Oh, somebody just sent me, a, Huck just sent me a movie. Sent me a video. Hold on. From the aircraft. Let's see what it shows. Oh, this is cool. Check this out, folks. Flip the phone here. 30,000 feet, shocking guy on TV. <laughs> on the aircraft in the dark. That's pretty cool. Showing a JoJo. <laughs> Yeah, you may be the first at 30,000 feet. <laughs> We're going to have to start the 30,000 foot shocking guy club. <laughs> oh, may, yeah, I could make it into a YouTube short. Yeah. Good idea. Okay, I need more honey mustard. Freaking two inches of snow this morning. It was crazy. Like, what the heck? <laughs> crazy weather. Mm. What would we do without condiments? A wave in Tofino. Yes! You gotta do some video, Carrie. You're on this great island. Oh my god. Absolutely. I keep because I'm twisted to watch you guys and it's just tweaks my back so badly maybe if I put you here it won't twist as much can I read that well it's because it's horizontal because it's landscape mode the random people don't find you because they're not doom scrolling through the short live feed so only people that subscribe are going to really know about this. And who knows how many of them pay attention to those kind of notifications. Yeah, I had some rude people on the train tonight. Wow. I don't get it. I don't get why people are that crass. Had some in the train show videos too. I might not have seen all that. Yeah, they're not ignorant. They're they're just crass and belligerent and I don't know, trying to get you to 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 you know, oh, shock me because you said something racist, you know. 
No, I'm going to tell you like it is, you piece of shit, and I'm going to send you to the junk pile. You know, oh my God. You know, and then you guys don't see the stuff that gets blocked by YouTube that, that I then look at and go, yeah, okay, another asshole. You know, I don't, I don't get it. I wouldn't be wasting my time. Hey, Ricky. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Oh. oh, I've been here. I'm here every day. <laughs> I, I, I probably was live, what, five or six times today? Oh, the mods can see it too. Okay. Oh, April in the house. Hey, darling. Huck is the nut. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Boy, almost all the moderators are here. Well, you know, we all have lives, Ricky. <laughs> Apparently I don't. <laughs> uh, thank you for following. Mm, this is good. Hmm. And these were fresh when I walked into the store. We just made them. Heap and pile of food. But four big pieces of tenders, one biscuit, bunch of JoJo's. Good stuff. Why is it cold in here? It was warm. What the heck did I do? I don't know. I'm surviving my stupid life. Still got lots of issues to deal with. But still here. I don't know. When they cut them up like this and however they cook them, those are JoJo's. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody look up the history on JoJo's quick. I don't know. That's a good one, Huck. You know, I don't know. Oh, th what's this big, uh, this big uh, gas station chain that's popular? This all over the country now. There's there's a few in Ohio now. What's this big, big crazy gas station chain? The heck is the name of it? There's a guy I follow on YouTube who was at one the other night at 2 in the morning, and the place was freaking packed. Yeah. 
the next gen. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. Are they sprinkles or Jimmy? What? Do, what's a sprinkle? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> yes, Bucky's. Thank you, NP. Bucky's. They just opened one in Dayton. Anyhow, this dude. No, Bucky's. No, no. Sheets or Wawa are little stores. A Bucky's is the size of a small Kmart. And it may have 60 pumps. 60 pumps or 100 pumps. These these places are insane. And they sell all kinds of amazing food, apparently. And this guy was at one that was 2 a.m. in, like, Rapid City, South Dakota the other night. And the inside of this place was freaking packed. It's, like, crazy. It's it's These things are, like, some... Mad cult. If I ever get on the road again, I gotta try to hit one. Mm. Kmart. Oh, in Cleveland here, in uh, um, where is it? In uh, oh shoot, R somewhere right in the area here, they're tearing down the first Super Kmart. It's getting destroyed finally. It was the first one in the Kmart chain, the Super Kmart. Where the heck was that? Somewhere right around here. Yeah, apparently they have massively good food and, and all kinds of interesting stuff. Oh. Hey, Kiwana. Thank you. Pizza from scratch. Oh, nice. I guess it really isn't hard. I, I used to help a friend make pizza dough, you know, when we were kids, but I never paid attention to any of this stuff. Never really learned how to do it. It's not that it's hard, but. In PG County. Yeah, where's this big, oh God, I can't think of, they just started demoing this Kmart the other day to put. I think a Meyer, a, a big a Meyer supermarket is going there. Where the heck is that? I can't remember. Easy enough to search the story. Oh, thank you, Ricky. Where do you live? I'm not sure if I even know or remember. And FYI, if, if some of you people have been following me for a long time or you're new even and you want to, you know, find me, you know, I, I'm available on other platforms. Fred Myers. And uh, Chicago. Oh, I was just up there uh, twice last year. I, did you did you remember saying? Yeah. Um what was I going to say? Um, I want to go here. I want to go there. Go back here. Go here. What the heck is that? I'm going to get a copyright. Oh, okay. Um, how do I do that? Paste. 
So I just posted my link tree. So if you click on that link, you can always find ways to contact me. Either the other platforms I'm on or there's an email there. If you want to make sure you keep in touch with me, at least send me one email. Um, then I'll have a way to find you again or look you up if I get close to you. Oh, yeah, I got videos, I'm pretty sure, up on, up, up on here from when I was there. Yeah, I parked at uh, Jewel Osco's parking lot over there near, uh, near the beginning of the, the, uh, the Chicago Riverwalk. All right, bye, Kiwana. Bill, oh yeah, I've been in 45 states. All right, are you guys all ready? I'm going to be transitioning from Mountain Dew to chocolate milk. I just want to make sure you can handle it. Good. I'm so hungry. Arizona. Oh, hey, CJ. Well, if you go to my link tree, there's, there's, if you, you want to help support, the, you know, buy me dinner or whatever, pay my mortgage. <laughs> I don't have a mortgage. But uh, there's links in my link tree for Cash App, PayPal. Um, Venmo, all that stuff. Not, you know, if you if you can tip right here through the super chat, but when you tip through super chat, um, a lot of people don't know this because you're buying the 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 coins or the dollars you're going to tip somebody on super chat through your either your Apple Store or your Google Play Store. When you do that, 40% gets held held by YouTube and some of that goes to YouTube and some of that goes to the Apple or the Google Store. So when you do if you gave me $10 on here through Super Chat, I might get 6 bucks. Um so that's how that works. Uh, so if you, you know, if you really want to help anybody on the web, if they have like Patreon or buy me a coffee, uh, oh yeah, I have that on there too, um, or any of those kinds of things, you're, you're giving the money in a more direct way to them. You know, it's, it's like helping a homeless guy on the corner. If you give him five bucks, he gets five bucks. If you give it to City Mission, <laughs> he gets four bucks. <laughs> now he probably gets a buck and they get four bucks. <laughs> Oh, did you hear about some cancer guy, some guy who had a cancer charity? He raised $18 million and only gave $187,000 to cancer. <laughs> I need a scam like that. That's good that they do tell people, yes, you know. I mean, if I ever get organized, I might do a Patreon or something like that. I bet I need to be better organized. I've got thoughts and plans, but yeah. Well, thank you, Ricky. Thank you for thinking of me. Yeah, I want to spend more time in Chicago. The two trips I got there last year, I finally spent quality time in Chicago because I've really never gone to Chicago. I would go out west. I go to D.C. And I never really spent a lot of time in Chicago. Every time I ever did go there, which isn't, isn't many times in actually spending time in the city. Mostly passing through. And, you know, I spent... The first time I spent two days, I uh, dropped off my delivery up at the... Uh, 
I forget the name, the little executive airport north of town. And then I uh, went into, uh, was it Glen, Glenwood or whatever up there? I pulled into a park in, in that suburb and went to sleep as I do. I woke up, I took a walk around the park, ended up by the skate park. And this guy was there with his like 10 year old kid. And I never figured out if it was a guy or a girl, the kid, boy or a girl. I couldn't tell. <laughs> and the kid's running up, uh, uh, riding his little scooter, his push scooter up and down the ramps and doing jumps and stuff. Pretty cool. And, okay. And uh, uh, so we talked a lot and he turned me on to Wicker Park. He says, you'd like that neighborhood. So I, that's where I went the first night. I spent a night and a half or two nights there. And uh, uh, parked, walked around, Bought a hearing things. Oh, I'm wondering why I'm hearing things. It's my phone. Volume's all the way down, but somebody was chatting. And uh, yeah, Wicker Park was cool. Had a really good breakfast there at a breakfast place I found the, the night before. Um, I think I spent two nights there. Oh, well, Chicago's got food. That's for sure, man. Oh, yeah, I got to walk on the uh, the High Line there. Not the High Line, the 601 up on the rail thing, the, the, the bike, bike hike trail thing. Yeah, the counts on these things, Baba, are always way off, it seems. I don't get it either. And, uh, so yeah, I got to walk, uh, I walked, uh, between two, two entrances of, on the 601. Very cool to learn about that. Um, yeah, then the other time I ended up down there by, uh, ASMR, I'm talking. <laughs> Not not this time. <laughs> Shh. Thank you, Ricky. Um, I love traveling, and that, that's where I really hit my stride in a lot of ways. Um, so, yeah, I parked the other time. I, I was driving through into the city, I saw a building under construction right next to that Jewel Osco. I wanted to see it, so I got off the highway, parked, looked down off the parking lot at the cool building, talked to a mini cam uh, driver, uh, cameraman who was parked there, asked him some questions. Oh, yeah, I asked him about East Chicago, Illinois. Sh I mean, Indiana. East Chicago, Indiana. I said, is it okay to go over there for gas? He goes, yeah, it's fine to go there for gas. Because <laughs> they got cheaper gas in Indiana than they do in Illinois. <laughs> so you go over to East Chicago, in Indiana to get your gas. <laughs> I got gas there like five times last year. There's a number of gas stations. <clears throat> yeah, the only, only, the neighborhoods weren't bad. We're, the, at the one station, though, was the guy next to me on the next pump. He was a freak. A bona fide, hundred percent white hood rat, wannabe gangster with his gold chains and his crazy tattoos and clothing, yelling at his girlfriend who's pumping the gas. Oh my God, they were they were crazy. They were. I thought he was going to start hitting her and and beating on her. It was it was wild. <laughs> Typical though, right? Yeah, it's two uh, two ninety seven here, but I guess they have gone up. Yeah, people are saying that it's going up around here because of the uh, um, the eclipse. With all the people coming into Ohio for the eclipse, they're going to crank the prices up. 
So, yeah, I never bought gas in, in Illinois when I was up that way. Same thing with PA. I'd always try to avoid Pennsylvania. Higher gas prices. And uh, then I then I decided to go for a walk. I ended up walking across uh, a bridge over there and ending up at the beginning of the uh, river walk. So I uh, had a real cool time walking the whole river walk. Three thirty five, three fifty. Okay. And uh three ninety nine. Uh oh, they're gonna beat Frank Sinatra up. Oh, they're giving him the bitch slap. Oh no, they took the little guy's glasses off and they're bitch slapping him. I guess if that's all you're getting, that's not bad. Oh, they just punched him. Uh oh. It's a good movie, The Man with the Golden Arm. It's a sad tale. Pretty much, Ricky. You, you know. You know, tonight it's what is the temperature again tonight? A little warmer finally. Monday's gonna be warm compared to this last week has been brutal, ugly, weird. We got spoiled. We've had such a mild winter. How do I get into this device? Oh, what's that guy doing? What? Traffic stop reveals terrorist caught with bomb, guns, and body armor. Where is this at? Two weeks ago. Man is charged with possession of explosive devices. Where is this from? Well, they're saying this wasn't the driver was an informant with the guy who was in the car for, against the guy in the car. I don't know where this was. I forgot what I was going to... What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to look up the temperature. <laughs> Don't ever let me open YouTube. <laughs> I'm lost. 28. And it was really windy earlier. Man, my buddy, he's not like the cold too much. We had to walk across a lot of the parking lot at the airport to get to the building where the show was. And uh, it was brutal windy out earlier. Yeah, today it'll be 42, Monday 63. Finally going to warm up during the day again. Get outside and start doing some things again. I didn't do anything this week outside. funny because I was out there in the garage when it was four degrees working like it was nothing and now I'm a wuss 
Yeah, I got to go out on Navy Pier, rent my first e-bike. I think in, maybe it was my second e-bike. Got to sit next to Bob Newhart. <laughs> yeah, I got to hit some cool spots up. Um, you know, in Chicago, which was which was good. Got me, you know, I drove through a lot of neighborhoods on the north side up there, past Wicker Park, north of Wicker Park. You know, it was good. I want an e-bike. If I ever start delivering again, boy, do I want an e-bike in the vehicle with me. But what I really want is a microwave right next to the couch so I don't have to go anywhere to heat this stuff up. <laughs> well, like I said, only up north there. What, what's the suburbs up there? My brother lived in Oak Park for two years, but I never went up there. He never invited anybody anyhow. But that job blew up, so they moved back to Cincinnati. He didn't like it in Chicago. And his wife didn't like it. They didn't like, they never got into public transit, apparently. They hated driving in the city. It's like, why do you drive in Chicago? I mean, take transit. Um, you know, they even had a house with a, a driveway and a single car garage. <laughs> I think I might have seen a picture of it once. I don't even know where it was, really. Uh, let me go on my map here. I've been wanting to get up for years to the, uh, uh, to, uh, on the suburb, uh, the big convention center, um, up in, uh, Let's see where I got lots of dots on my map. Everything's on my map here. Glenview, that's where the park was, where I went to sleep after going to the airport up there. Where was the airport? Come on, map, populate. The map, uh, which airport? The, uh, where is this called here? Chicago Executive Airport, up on, uh, uh, what street is that there? No name, that's Route 40, oh, Milwaukee Avenue, yeah, because then I took Milwaukee down into the city, because it goes all the way back into the city. And that's how I stumbled into that park in Glenview. They got a big park system there. A lot of cool fields. Some nice trails to walk around the perimeter of it. Nice little skate park. What suburb are you in? And then I just went down Milwaukee right into Wicker Park. Hung out there. Oh yeah, I got a tire. I, I changed, I had to get a spare tire. I mean, I replaced a tire at M Affordable Tires. <laughs> M Affordable Tires. He was okay. <laughs> got a used tire. And I had a tire going bad. Right off Milwaukee Avenue at uh, Harlem. Mount Prospect. I have to look. Let me see where that is because I don't know. M O U N Mount Prospect, Illinois. 
Oh, further, further north, uh, northwest. Okay. Uh, oh, yep. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good sized looking suburb. Okay. Yeah. I'd never heard of it before. I don't think. Oh yeah. And on the way in, I stopped at Elgin, Illinois. When I was coming back from Minneapolis, the one trip and, uh, stopped at the riverboat <laughs> learned about the cool bike trail through there um, learned about the uh, learned about uh, the uh, uh, what do you guys call the train the, the, the metro you know the, the commuter trains learned about those learned it was like eight bucks to go from Elgin into the city um, stuff like that I want to ride those commuter trains once. And uh, where is... I'm so confused here. Metro, not Metro. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, where... No, where is that? Hold on here. Oh, that's where that is. Okay. Oh, yeah, I made deliveries there, too, didn't I? So, yeah, I've been wanting to go to the convention center at Rosemont for years for the big hot rod show. Do you know about the big hot rod show that's there every year? I've got friends who take cars to that event. Um... And the, isn't there a big Corvette show there, too? Big Mopar show. Yeah, there's a bunch of big car shows at that convention center. I need to go to those some year. At least I finally got to do the uh, the Woodward Dream Cruise last year. Uh-oh. Frank Sinatra's uh, gal can walk. It's a miracle. I can walk. I've been healed. Look at the look on her face because she got busted. Look at the look on her face because she got caught standing. woman is the epitome of the of, of a few oh she killed killed him I forgot about that pushed him down the steps oh Baba well figures oh lap traffic in the house everybody's been here tonight except Steve back oh oh I gotta turn some I gotta do something in another room no I don't think I have Justin another scam what scam Music off. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know. 
I have to go do something and be right back. Play nice with each other. Oh, get up. Get up. Oh. I'll tell you, it's cold outside. I have no idea where the cat is. I went out and looked for him. <laughs> Who knows what he's doing? Hooking up with somebody. Jason. <laughs> Coda. Where is that one? Yeah, Archie was a... Eh, food's okay. Hello, Rylan. Bonanza, huh? baseball yeah i mean i'm a mild baseball fan you know opening day in cleveland is is eclipse day same day as the eclipse 
If anybody wants to come hang with me in, on Eclipse Day. Oh, hello, Steve. What, what are we talking about, Steve? Hey, Steve's here. Everybody was here tonight. Oh, Austin. Is that what you said, Steve? Okay. Circuit of the Americas. Okay, gotcha. I'm like, Steve's in Austin? <laughs> The, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a little, uh, rooftop, rooftop, rooftop party at the building where I work at. Uh, I can take a couple people. The, the view from the roof up there should be the best in the city, maybe. Because you're going to be above the trees and be able to see amazing changes in, in, as it happens. Well, yeah, you don't look straight at it. You have to have uh, your 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 solar glasses or other filters to look through, or make the pinhole, make the pinhole box, and and watch watch it on the white sheet of paper in your pinhole box. It never looks directly at the sun. No, no, no. Even if you have a DSLR camera or something like that, you have to get a filter for that because you can burn the chip out in your camera. So even in your phone, you should put a filter over your phone if you're gonna film film this. Yeah. Oh, I'm chilly now from going out there. It's cold out. And I think I heard a gunshot in the distance. I'm not sure what it was. Very loud, weird boom. No, I haven't gotten any yet. I need to get some. <sighs> oh, there's this crazy lady on uh, TikTok who's a... Uh, uh, what's the other term for horoscope people? Um, isn't there a word that starts with an A? can't think of the word. Oh, it's driving me nuts today. Um, oh, this woman's bonkers. Bat shit bonkers. She blocked me. She's got such thin skin. She blocked me because I called her, called her out. <laughs> the, the, how dare she? Astrology. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I hate when I can't think of a simple word like that sometimes. So, I'm going to play you this video, okay? I had to get the link from April because she blocked me and I couldn't pull her back up on TikTok. <laughs> Freaking crazy person. Where is it here? Is it on this phone or is it on that phone? Oh, she's, she's, she's batshit nuts, man. And then her... On her Instagram, she's got a pinned video at the top left on her, her Instagram or TikTok page. Oh, you ought to watch that one. That one gets into religion. She's got all this stuff, you know, intertwined and and convoluted in some pretty disturbing ways, in my opinion. Uh where where's the link? Who sent me? Um I have to go to thought I had it on this phone already. Go back and find April. Oh, shoot. What was that video? Oh, that person's an idiot. Let's see if I can find that video I just saw. I hate when I open up an app and the video disappears. Oh, yeah, Alabama taking one great step back to the to the slave age. One great step at a time. Alabama bans diversity, equity, and inclusion at public schools and, or, and universities. These people are going to take us back to the Stone Age if you let them. Do not let them.
Oh, there's a new... Oh, that was that big bar in Akron that closed, that brewery. Sad. Sad. Interesting. Um, all right, sorry. This is Instagram I'm on right now. You don't always have to download uh, TikTok to watch something, right? You can usually, you can watch stuff in a browser. Yeah. A friend of mine said it's... You should be able to open it in a browser. I just did. Blue Milk? What's this, Baba? Blue... Star Wars Blue Milk. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> what the frick is this? Blue Star Wars milk. Vanilla flavored blue milk from True Moo. It's going to arrive leading up to Star Wars Day, May 4th. <laughs> I never heard of that. Okay. Vanilla flavored milk. Okay, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not sure I want that. <laughs> um, where was this link? On, where did April... She just sent me a link. What is going on here? I'm losing my mind. Where is she contacting me? I'm losing my mind here. Where else would April contact me? Is it over here? The Japanese made such great movies, man. <laughs> Root beer milk or banana milk? No, never even heard of that such thing. Oh yeah, Cleveland gets uh, has the women's final four, March Madness in two weeks. City will be a buzzing, buzzing. What is this crazy stuff? Uh, I guess that's what they do.
One hour ago, Bob, a critical injury crash. Southbound BWI Parkway just past Powder Mill Road in Beltsville. Entrapments and multiple critical injuries. You guys, some of you guys might know this, uh, the book, uh, the children's book, uh, Babar, the elephant, the author, Laurent, Laurent de Brunhoff, author of Babar, died at 98. No, Ricky. Uh, yeah, I've been up through there to, uh, uh, Oh, nice. Ukraine hit an oil depot in temporarily occupied Crimea. Yes. Slava, Ukraine. L Logan, Utah. Best cheese and milk place. <laughs> you ought to see the cheese we got here in Amish country. <laughs> Closer to Baltimore, yeah. Um, all right. What was I looking for? Where did April contact me before? That's, I'm losing my mind. How can something be on one phone and not the other? I don't understand this. This is not... I had her... I just had her send me this. Where else would... Does she contact me? I can't think. I have too many places to look. It's too confusing. Oh, TikTok. Sorry. That's where... Five teens charged for murder after throwing rocks off of a highway, onto a highway. Good fucking punks. Jesus. What the hell? All charged with second degree murder. Adriana Diaz is at the Genesee County Jail in Flint, Michigan, where the oldest suspect is being held. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. The teenager who prosecutors believe actually dropped the rock is 17-year-old Kyle Anger. He's the one being held here at the county jail. The others are at a juvenile detention facility. They were all arraigned yesterday and are being tried as adults. The five teenage defendants were expressionless as their lawyers entered not guilty pleas for them. Yeah, my client has no criminal record whatsoever. Their distraught families watched the proceedings. So did the grieving father of Kenneth White, the 32-year-old victim. I've buried my mother, my father, and my oldest brother in the last four years. This is the hardest thing I've ever did in my life. Police say White, a construction worker, was getting a ride home in a Ford Econoline van around 8.30 p.m. last Wednesday. That's when a six-pound rock, about five inches wide and eight inches long, was allegedly dropped from an overpass and crashed through the windshield. The father of four was struck in the face and chest. He was declared dead on arrival at the hospital. Jesus. Officials say after the incident, the suspects went to McDonald's. Investigators say they found at least 20 rocks on Interstate 75. One weighed more than 20 pounds. Frank Manley and Fred Myers represent two of the... And if you saw these five kids at McDonald's, you would never think anything about them. Wow. You know, it's pretty messed up. Pretty messed up. Inbox. Here we go. April. All right, my phone's working slow. We've had a number of these rock-throwing incidents here in town where giant rocks have crashed through the window and near killed people or have killed them. Uh, one was a doctor going to work the one morning, a woman. She was traumatized, traumatized. Um... Come on, phone. Why won't you open now? 
phone is busy. My phones are all out of memory. They don't do things well. No beer, but we're we're stepping it up. I'm going to take the take the jump. <laughs> Mountain Dew and chocolate milk. Sinatra's Jones and he's having withdrawals. Grounded. <laughs> yeah, I uh I was in a lot of trouble and it, and you know and it was for a number of things um you know and uh, I'm going to find her my phone is I want to show you this I mean this thing won't load I can copy it let's do that it'll let me copy it close that see if we can open a browser my phone's buffering, so it's all confused right now. And it's not charging. Why isn't it charging? So many issues here. Oh, man. I got to get my credit card out. I got to buy an Air Broom. Ultra Flex Blade. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> well, it, it it it's a whole different crowd, Ricky. I mean, cuz it's in this whole it's in two different feeds on YouTube and people can, you know, doom scroll on their phone and just find you. And so you find all these wackos who are sitting, you know, around, you know, smoking pot and doing cocaine and being racist, uh, you know, looking for just stupid shit to do with their lives because they don't know how to do anything else. Uh, and uh, and uh, there, you know, I don't get all the ignorance that goes along with it. You know, I really don't. I really don't. People are very rude and, and disturbing today. All right, I got this video to load. Okay, watch this crazy stuff. People are talking about the eclipse, but they're not talking about this. The sun and the moon are not aligned on April 8th. They are in Pisces. Right now, if you go to your Skyview app and you push forward to April 8th, plug it in, it will show you that the sun and the moon are in Pisces. They are not aligned. They are sitting beside each other, but they are not aligned. How is that possible? Because the sun and the moon have been out of place since back in September 2023. I've been doing these videos telling you that the sun is not where it should be. People are telling me it's the calendar. The calendar's off. Don't worry about it. It's where the sun is in the sky that's different. It's not where it should be. This eclipse is showing you that I am telling you the truth because if we see an eclipse on April 8th how is that possible if the sun and the moon are in Pisces it can't be an Aries eclipse right if the sun is in Pisces and if the sun and the moon are not aligned they have to be aligned in order for you to see an eclipse correct so I don't have to be a fucking astrophysicist to understand this and neither do you 
I'm trying to get this out to as many people as I can. Please share this because, I mean, this is just a no-brainer. These, these heavenly bodies are changing. They are not where they should be. And they damn sure will not show you an eclipse in the sky if they are not aligned. <laughs> So, so I want you all to go. I want you all to go find her channel and and ask her questions. So, what happens when we have an eclipse? And you just said we're not going to have one. <laughs> Should we all cry? <laughs> like. Oh my God! What is what is she saying? I mean, it's it's crazy, you know. Yeah, I mean. I'm gonna give. Usually, I don't respond. I mean, it's it's crazy, you know. Let's see if I can find this other video of hers because she blocked me, so I can't go on her page anymore. I'm the eclipse coming on April 8th. <laughs> People are talking about the eclipse, but they're not talking about this. So her her channel name is. Apothecary, you know, like a, 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 a like a uh, pharmacy, apoth, uh, what do you call those, yeah, an apothecary, there's her name, apothecary, oh my god, this w woman is, you know, I mean, this is, I'm sorry, is this not bad shit crazy, what she just said, you know, and let's see if I can get her channel. I don't know if I can get her channel to open up here. Uh, it's going to open up TikTok, and it won't let me go to her channel. Because she's got me blocked. I'd have to... I'm so negative. I, I think I have the other video linked up somewhere. Maybe I can load that. This other one is... It's, it's crazy stuff, too, about religion and Christianity and stuff. It's like, what is... You know, people have like Ricky. No, it's not flat. We checked. We checked. <coughs> but they got good snacks over there. When I saw that pin, I said, I have to have that pin. My friend sent me two of them. <laughs> it's a great pin, man. That's a great pin. I want to go to a flat earth convention so bad. I want to see how long it'll take for me to lose it, and they'll have to drag me out of there. <laughs> and I'll, they'll be dragging me out, and I'll be screaming, Aliens! Aliens! Jesus. Freaking hell. I have this other video of hers, I think, under, let's see, Instagram, maybe. I guess I'm going to have to start another TikTok account so I can follow the crazy people that block me. <laughs> Is this the one? Or is this the first video? <clears throat> no, this is the same one. Dang it. It's the same one. I thought I shared the other video with her of her somewhere. I shared it with you or Baba or somebody. I don't know, maybe not. I guess I'll have to start a second TikTok account. Hey, Fran. Well, we're just having a fun time here. Oh, I don't want to go there. Go back. Go to there. Time is at 3 a.m. 
Oh, that's right. Frankie still doesn't know that she's a, not a cripple. Not a scam artist. I mean, I hear stuff like that, and it's like, I mean, what do you guys think of when you see a video like that? I mean, do you, do you think that the same thing I do, that this is like lunatic? Oh, yeah, Ricky, I got monetized back uh, last year. Yep. Oh, yeah. We're making a little money, you know. It's, uh, it's interesting to see how it, how it works. I got my second payout uh, the other day. Because they only pay when you reach a certain amount of money. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. The only other platform I made money on was HAPS. And that was all their venture capital money that they were throwing away. <laughs> but they paid me. Periscope never paid me. Got burned on that. Uh oh. Oh no, I can walk. Oh no. Oh, it's a miracle. And she gets arrested and goes to jail for murder. Yeah, they drove that under the bus because they just kept spending venture capital money. Then they rebranded it and just totally ruined everything that they built up. It was bizarre. It was, it was such a weird story. I mean, I, I don't understand... Any kind of thinking that went into that. That was so weird, what, what they did to that platform. Oh, does she run out a window and kill herself? I forget. Yep, she kills herself. I forgot about that. Crazy lady. Freaking crazy. Yeah, Baba, I think something like that happened, yep. Fast and loose with the money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I still got... I think they're all up on... You can find them on Twitter if you go back, And I think. there's. I've got one posted at the top of Twitter. Go watch the drunk guy, Marv. <laughs> Dude was so high that night. So high. All right, I should be done eating with this now. Let me figure out how to throw this stuff out. Uh, that's garbage. And put the rest of the food somewhere. Oh, that dude was so... He kept passing out, waking up. Let's party. I got some good stuff. He was wild. He was so funny. He's this hundred pound wet guy. Guy, if he if, if he was a hundred pounds wet, he was so high and drunk at three a.m. Oh man, he was funny. <laughs> All right, that's thrown out.
I need to go back and honestly, I should go back and try to find every video that I can and download them. I mean, I got some classic stuff there, folks. I mean, <laughs> but that would be a giant job to go back and try to find them all. I mean, I, I, I need a fast computer and a good internet connection. But man, there's some gold there. There is some gold in those videos. I would put every one of those up on YouTube, man. I think it would be, <laughs> it'd be blasphemous. <laughs> Who's sending me messages? That would be. Oh, yes. <laughs> I finished it uh, the night, other night or whatever, yeah. Twitter is a text right up. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how much all that video is 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 uh, is sucking up. That that has to cost some space, you know. <laughs> ah, but they buy space. They buy it by the acre. Bandit, come here. No, Bandit does not get this. <laughs> he got into the damn garbage bag while I was gone. All right, I got to go put this somewhere cold. All right, the beast is back inside. Oh, it's cold out there tonight. Oh. Oh. All right, turn down your volume. Cover, take your headphones off. I gotta clear the trombone here. I'd turn the volume off, but it seems sometimes when I turn the volume off and bring it back, it uh, it doesn't come back. All right, Ricky. Good night. Thanks for hanging out.
time for M&Ms. Hmm. That's what I forgot to buy today was coffee. I'm gonna buy coffee. What am I watching? I don't know. It's tonight, Saturday night. Numbers is on. David. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> West Coast checking in. Yeah, lap traffic it keeps growing with the the strange people. Hopefully, some of them will spill over to this kind of uh, format, you know, and it'll be it'll be interesting. But. Most of them are just kids, I think. Oh, that was just on the one video. Because I I went to do something on this phone, and when the video goes away, sometimes it gets weird, doesn't come back properly. That's why it's always better to do those things on another device. Knocked off m and candies at Trader Joe's. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Supervisor's back. Hi. How are you doing? Okay, did you want to come up here and get warm? Get a warm lap here. I'll share it with you. Here's the supervisor. Well, bandit. Had a little snack. Now you're going to come up here, I'm sure. What are you doing? Here he comes. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Hello, boo, boo. What are you doing? Oh, he's a pretty boy. It's chilly out there. It's chilly out there. Yes. Oh, my God, B David. <laughs> it's disturbing, some of these people. I mean, they're disturbing. What are you doing? Come here. Do you want to get warm? Yes. Hello. 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 Oh, yes. Do you want to get those paws warm? Yes, I do. Yes. Hello. Your motor's running. Hello. He's my buddy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't make biscuits on my belly. <laughs> oh, when they make biscuits and you're barely wearing clothes. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to warm you right up, baby. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not my OT. Baby, you're going to turn that way? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? There he is. Yeah, oh, he's so warm. Oh, my, you got a furnace in there. You got a furnace hiding in there. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're so warm. Yes. Hello. Hello. I need a little blanket to tuck you in. Yeah, that's what I need. I need a little tiny blanket. You didn't get in any fights, did you? No? No new scratches? Oh. I 
Anyway. They used to bloodlet in middle ages to improve help. He's just trying to make you healthy. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah, Hunter. <laughs> you can't take it with you except for your last meal. And my last meal will be happy, green, and chocolatey. <laughs> no, no, he likes to be outdoors. Now oh, this dude gets in so many fights. He had a huge wound on his one leg, the front leg uh, a few months ago. Crazy, nasty wound. But this kid's got crazy healing powers. Honestly, I'm going to start sucking his plasma out and selling it. Crazy healing powers. He heals insanely well. But that that wound worried me. It was it was a big wound. And then he re-injured it. Mountain Dew is not good. Oh well, then you die. <laughs> Who says JoJo potatoes, particularly Idaho, Oregon, Washington, Montana, Minnesota, Nebraska, northern, northern Utah, northeast Ohio, and Wisconsin. Potato wedges are known as JoJo's. <laughs> that's, that's a bizarre collection of states. That's a strange region. <laughs> Is that the I-80 potato region, I guess? That's Interstate 80 potato region? <laughs> Because I don't see any other connection. Or maybe some Interstate 90. That's strange. Started in the PNW. <laughs> Who's JoJo? <laughs> now that's the that's the question. Thanks, Baba. I mean, that's those are interesting things to to learn about. <laughs> there, I mean, where does food come from? Where do these things come from? Oh, that chocolate milk is so good. Ugh. How are you doing, Bandit? Mm, yes, you're warm. I'm warm. We both have warm laps now, and you definitely have warm paws now instead of the ones you had outside. Something, David, yeah. Haven't there been a few serial killers along that same route? <laughs> That's like the whole interesting uh, migration route of uh, route, nine, route 95 that goes all the way up from Mexico to like Idaho just full of immigrants going up and down up and down I-94 not I-94 Route 95 the one alongside the, the, test, the test site it's famous for being a, a migration route for migrant workers. 95 or 93. 
Come on, phone. Function. Populate. Open the map up. Uh, where the heck are we at? Well, that's Henderson. 93. 93. 90. Maybe I'm thinking of 93. Where the heck is... Wait a minute. What am I looking at here? What am I looking at? 375, sorry. 95. Maybe, I think it's 93 is, is considered this big migrant route. Maybe it's 95. I thought it was 93. I can't remember. I have to, have to look it up. <clears throat> Potato wedges. No, no, no. I'm talking about two-lane highways, David. Route 95 or Route 93 alongside e either side of the test site in Nevada. The, the one is considered a big migrant worker route through the southwest and the, and the northwest. Route 93 or 95 migrant worker route. Oh, yes, I'm searching in the wrong place. Thank you, Google. Not, no, no, not interstate, Marcus. Two-lane state route. I remember reading this uh, years ago about which road was, uh, let's see here. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Man, I'm getting the wrong choices because I searched improperly. But anyway, you get the idea. I searched improperly. Peanut butter stuffed pretzels. Yes, Ben. <laughs> okay, you guys are not getting what I'm saying. Let me show you on a map, okay? I just had it open, too. Should have shown you then. Come on, phone. Oh, function already. All right. Cancel that. Where's the test site here? Let's see if I can get this to show. Properly, there we go. Okay. Okay. There's Vegas right down there. Okay. Bottom of Nevada. On the left there is I is Route 95 going north out of Las Vegas. 
And this road here is Route 93. These are on either side of the, the test site, the nuclear test site. And these roads go straight north. They are well-known migrant worker routes. 95 goes straight down. Let's see here. Goes all the way down to Yuma, Arizona. All the way down to the Mexican border. So I think 95 is the route. And then 93 goes into Phoenix. But I think 95 may be the one that I'm really thinking of. That is the, the a big route for, for migrant workers to go all the way north. Get this phone to work again here. Come on. Open up. Went too far there. There's 95. 95 goes up through uh, Fallon, Newton, Fallon, Nevada. Near the California border, keeps going north, blends in with uh, Interstate 80 for a little bit, then breaks off again off of 80 in, uh, what's, in, is that Winnemucca? I think. Yep, and Winnemucca. And then it just keeps going north. Goes all the way up through... What's that boundary there? I hate this freaking... What state are we in now? Into Oregon. Goes straight through Oregon. Goes back into... Uh, um, Idaho keeps going north all the way to the border. It's an interesting road to drive. You want to drive an interesting two-lane road, drive that from border to border. You'll see some interesting country. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Video pops up on YouTube yesterday. In, in uh, New Mexico. It's a police stop. State police got a phone call about a guy in a white pickup truck along a road. He had stopped... And they saw the tailgate open, apparently, because I think he had a, a tanu cover over the back of the bed of the truck. Texas license plates. An older white guy, they said, who had plastic bags in the back of the truck that looked suspicious. <laughs> and some he had some bags on the ground or something. And... Um, and they think they said he had a gun on his hip. So this truck goes driving by a cop somewhere. The cop starts to follow him. The guy does goes to do like a U-turn on a little div uh, divided highway. Turns left and turns around, and that's when the cop pulls him over. And the guy pulls over, and he... W He's not real cooperative. He's 56 years old. He's got his dog with him. His insurance is from Oklahoma, but he said he moved to, uh, to Oklahoma, and that's why his insurance is there now, not from Texas. And he's here in New Mexico going to Roswell to look for the aliens and <laughs> to check out that stuff. <laughs> that's his story, and he's sticking to it. <laughs> So the cops are suspicious. Second cop shows up, tries to get him to get out of the truck. Or, you know, basically gives him the, the, the legal order. We'd like you to step out of your vehicle. 
and the guy won't do it. And he won't unlock his door. He, uh, he, uh, you know, is uncooperative. The cop is, the second cop is polite and trying to engage him to get out of the vehicle. He says, we're going to break your window if you don't get out of the, out of your vehicle. And they eventually get the guy to roll his window down, up and down a few times. And finally, I don't know who unlocked the door, but they got the door open. They got the guy out. They cuffed him, parked him in the car so they can do more investigating. They asked him if he could search the car. He said no. So they called for a drug dog. Drug dog hit. They then opened the back of the truck up and find 90 pounds of, of weed <laughs> wrapped up in nice kilos. <laughs> they find like three ounces of cocaine. They find a gun. They find all kinds of, oh, like $57,000 in cash. And this guy looks like, he looks like your grandfather, your, your Uncle Tony. <laughs> he don't look like any kind of drug mule you've ever seen. I'll show you the video. This guy's... <laughs> I mean, this guy was, you know, just stupid because he did stupid stuff on the side of the road, whatever that was. And that's what got him noticed. You know, he did something stupid that made people pay attention to him with his out-of-state tag. A local noticed him. Oh, my God. So who was he running the, the weed for? And where did he get it? And where was he going to be taking it? That's an interesting... Support for NPR music comes from Capital One. I love Tiny Desk Concerts on NPR. You can't get better music education than watching these amazing music sets at NPR Studios. Best music education you can get. This is two days ago. This is Chapel Roan. I think I've heard of them or her. You can't play that. I'll get in trouble. Where is this video of this guy? Oh, my God. This guy, this is a classic bizarre, bizarre, bizarre thing. Peter Frampton. Some of the sets on that, on the Tiny Desk concert are just, oh, my God. I mean, if they don't move you emotionally, nothing on the planet will move you emotionally. The, the moments that are had in that room are insanely powerful. Uh, where's the crazy uh, weed mule guy? Oh, yeah, I was watching a new documentary about uh, is the uh, moon landing real or not. <laughs> it's a really good documentary. It's 50 minutes. Uh, I'm uh, almost halfway through it. Where's the crazy drug guy? I watched so many videos. It's like, did I watch that many before? I, uh, yeah, I guess I did. Where is this guy? I probably passed it. I go. Yeah, I must have passed it here. Oh, go to Willie Nelson's page. His new audio. For the the border song is out on his YouTube page. Wow, what a powerful five minute piece of music! Wow, wow. Where is the crazy drug uh, pickup guy? Where is this? 
Oh my God, Baba! The the Trump AI videos are. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the Trump artificial intelligence videos, <laughs> campaign ads, <laughs> they they will make you pee your pants. <laughs> They will make you pee your pants. <laughs> Where is this video? I just watched this. Oh, here he is. The title of this is Man Coming to See Aliens Arrested After Search Warrant. <laughs> Search warrant reveals 90 pounds of marijuana and cocaine. What did they find in this guy's truck here? Let's see. There's a full description in the description of this whole stop. Item seized. 90 and a half pounds of green leafy substance marijuana. Oh, 34 grams of cocaine. 97 grams of green leafy substance in a glass jar. 38 special Smith & Wesson revolver. Federal brand cartridges, five. I guess just the five slugs in the gun. A glass pipe with burned substance, methamphetamine. $51,000 in paper U.S. currency in the following banknotes. $2,700 bills, $60, $50 bills, $2,220, $20 bills, $114, 10, 73 fives, and, he found, and a black iPhone. The way you see what this guy looks like, he looks like your Uncle Tony. <laughs> this is just crazy. I mean, Wednesday, January 7th. Behind the truck. Sanchez, Mexico City Police. So the reason I'm making contact with you is somebody had called you in and said that he observed like large trash bags fall and that it had like large amounts of marijuana, pretty much. No. Yeah, so that's my reason of contact, okay? Um, do you have your driver's license so I know who I'm talking to? Yes. Okay. Do you have large bags of trash um, trash bags up back there? No, I don't. Okay. Do you know anything about you pulling off to the side and you dropping a package and picking it up or anything like that? I just I stopped about five miles back. Okay. And let him use the bathroom. There's a big gravel area. Okay. But no, I didn't throw anything out. Yeah, I guess somebody called you in, so that's why we're making contact with you, okay? Okay. Okay. my insurance? Sure. <laughs> David. <laughs> the driver was identified as 53-year-old Don Wester. Where are you heading to, Mr. Wester? We're coming here to Roswell. Uh, from Texas, or? Uh, okay, I went through a divorce. I've moved up to Oklahoma recently. Okay. So that's why my insurance is in Oklahoma. Okay. Five one five one. Come out here to visit. Just to so you guys are you're moving from Oklahoma to Texas. Oh my. So was he on a buying trip? I mean He's got 50 grand in cash and he's got like, how much is all that pot worth? A whole lot of money. I mean, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so don't take a dog with you so you don't have to stop and don't stop and do other stupid stuff. <laughs> Some people just don't know how to smuggle shit. I mean, <sighs> I 
really, well, I had an Uncle Tony too. <laughs> but the hardest thing he ever did was fish bowls of beer at the, at the big bar in Parma. <laughs> well, maybe some shots of whiskey. But I mean, that's the most unlikely looking drug mule I've ever seen. <laughs> Guy's got his nice, nice, nice hunting dog with him. <laughs> Exactly. They do something just silly, stupid. Yep. Don't use a turn signal while you're changing lanes. My friend here in town got pulled over on I-90 one night. And his Toyota, um, no, it's not a Camry, it's a nicer one. What is the nice, uh, what's the nicer Toyota? Older? Uh, anyhow, you know, an old man like type looking car, you know, and he's a, he's just a normal looking guy with a bald head and a baseball cap, you know, and a polo shirt, you know, and Avalon. Yes. And, and, you know, they pull him over late one night and he, you know, and he doesn't like cops in general. He's had some bad run-ins with cops, does a lot of driving 50 to a hundred thousand miles a year. And and he speeds a lot, but he wasn't speeding. They just got him for not changing lanes because that's so a, a vi valuable, you know, a viable way to pull someone over. And he's got local plates, basically, you know, next county over. I mean, nothing should be weird, really. But you know, the cop was bored. Obviously, I'm going to pull this this normal looking white dude over. So they pull him over, and they start talking. And the guy's like, uh, you have any, uh, uh, oh, that's right. He was driving a rental car. I forgot. It wasn't his Avalon. He was driving a rental car, I think, with out-of-state tags. There's a, a, you know, no turn signal, out-of-state tag. Okay. So use your turn signals when you're changing lanes. And... They they start talking. His car was in the shop, I think, at the time. Or he would rent cars a lot when he would do some of his longer drives, just so he could try different cars, see how they are. Um, and and they're like, uh, well, do you have any drugs? Um, no, no. Because he doesn't smoke. He's never smoked pot, I don't think, ever. He's He likes liquor, but that's it. He's never done anything else. Very straight. Um, and they, they cop was like, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to call for a, I don't think he gave him permission to search the car. And then he goes, well, I'm going to call for a drug dog. So they called Cleveland police to bring a drug dog out because the state highway police pulled him over. They came out, the dog of course hit. Have you ever seen the dog not hit on a car? Yeah, there's a little secret dog language human thing going on there. And uh, they searched the car. Or maybe he finally said he they could search the car. I forget. And they go all through the car. And in the console, and I'm not sure, maybe under the seat or in the seat, they also find like a couple flakes and a seat or two. It's a rental car. Everybody parties in their rental car. <laughs> oh, my God. And the cops finally talk about this, and they let him go. I mean, he lost it a little bit with the cops, too. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, they just use anything they can to get at you, you know, anything. I mean, and they, they did all agree that, you, you know, if you get a rental car, you might want to vacuum it before you use it. 
But it's just crazy. I mean, you know, they held him up on the side of the road for an hour. You know, just trying to find something, anything they could stick at you so they can get get some paperwork and an, and an arrest, you know, and a tow. Got to make everybody happy. I just saw a story like that, David. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's some bullshit, really. You know, these are not crimes. Okay. You know, is a loud exhaust a crime? You know, yeah. I mean, this is some nonsense, you know. Nobody got pulled over. <laughs> Best time in the world to be a criminal. <laughs> I'll tell you the stories in five years. <laughs> Wear a mask. Do anything you want. <laughs> Walk in anywhere with a mask on. <laughs> we didn't even have masks in California the one time. And we got stopped by... Three carloads of cops at Bank of America. <laughs> oh, that was a fun one. I, I like that one. Let's see if I can find a picture here. I wish I had a picture from that Bank of America day on Foothill Boulevard. Let's see if I can, I can find this picture here. Albums. Oh, I need more albums. Uh, where are these things? There we go here. Let's see, I think this picture's here. Maybe it's in that phone. Should be in this phone, I thought. Oh, there it is. I showed this picture to a few friends of mine. And they said, holy crap, you're a criminal. <laughs> no, no, in uh, Foothill Boulevard in... Uh, La Crescenta or uh, above Glendale in L.A. The only Foothill Boulevard. <laughs> I mean, would you would you be suspicious of this guy if he walked into your uh, bank <laughs> or business? <laughs> oh, I had a few friends go. Okay. That's fucking damn scary looking, Daniel. <laughs> totally not recognizable. <laughs> so in uh, around 90... Eight, late 80s, 90s, when my van was in Los Angeles. I drove my van to L.A. Uh, a window, Chevy window van, 80 Chevy window van. Tan, nice looking. Two-tone tan. Me and Pat and Joe go up from Pat's house near the 210, up the hill to Foothill, and over to the Bank of America. So Pat could go to the bank. Well, I, it's habit. I back in. I don't pull into parking spots. I back in. <laughs> so, and so I always back in parking places. Well, I back in at this bank 
in the van with Ohio license plates with a white guy driving and a black guy sitting in the passenger seat. Well, and I probably had maybe pretty wild looking hair and Joe might have been wearing his bandana. And somebody said, ooh, I think they're going to rob the bank. <laughs> Next thing you know, it was swarm, swarm, swarm. All these freaking Glenn uh, cops show up, you know, and, and Pat comes walking out of the bank. and like, what the hell's going on? Oh, my God. These people, you know. No, we're just some dudes going to the bank. <laughs> we had a good laugh with that one. Brentwood in Northern California in a neighborhood of Brentwood in South California. <laughs> yeah, it's weird like that, you know. Um, it should be a law against it. Bandit. Bandit's doing maintenance. It must be nice not to have to find a shower. Just take a bath anywhere. I think I'm going to call it quits here. <sighs> Foothill Boulevard in the L.A. area is, is a quite, quite famous roadway. Passes through lots of communities. all on the other side. Oh. Hi, Bandit. <coughs> Bye, everyone. Me and two others went to Denny's in Modesto. If I get seated, wondered if it was racism because it was one Asian, one black, and one white guy. Smelled like a barbecue. <laughs> I've stopped in a couple places in my life, only a couple. The weirdest church. <laughs> funny guy um, I guess tomorrow's Palm Sunday or today I, I, I don't pay attention to these things anymore because they're inconsequential um, where was this restaurant this was in 
Is this in Maryland? Where was this? No, this was, I was making a long distance delivery and this was in, oh yeah, it was in, uh, oh, where was, oh, where was that? South of here, way south. Is this West Virginia? Oh, I can't think here. Where, where the place that had the hot dogs, the Skeeters. What town is that again? It's a well-known little town. Let's see here. S-K-E-E-T-E-R-S. -E -E Skeeters. Okay, it's not showing up that way. Um, wrong search. Um, go on the map. See if I, I can find it. It's in, or is it Kentucky? Tennessee? It's on the map here. Find the map. It's got to be on my map. Come on, map. Populate the, the pins on the map. ASMR. is off Interstate 77. Is this 77? What city is this in? Where is that? Is this it? Yes. What city is this again? Okay, I found... This is... Why don't they tell you the state? Oh, this is so stupid, the way these things come up. Oh, my God. This is so stupid. Wytheville, Virginia. Okay. Wytheville, Virginia. It's a pretty famous stop off of I-77. And was that eight? 81 there. And I ended up eating at this place, Skeeter's. It's a famous, 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 famous hot dog, little diner type uh, hot dog spot in this downtown. They've served like 21 million or 80 million hot dogs out of this place. Crazy famous. Chili dogs. Um, so anyway, I was driving around this town looking for something to eat. And I think this is the place that wouldn't serve me. This place called Grayson. Right in the bend of the road there on the southwest side of town. Let's see here. Grayson Restaurant. Oh, it's not going to open now, is it? And I go in this place. It's packed. Freaking packed. No, that's not it. That's a house. The frick. Where's the restaurant? Okay, that map is wrong. <laughs> Touched the wrong thing. There it is. Grace and Restaurant. This parking lot was packed. Afternoon, just packed on whatever day of week it was. I think it was a weekend. Maybe not. No, it was a weekday because court was open. And I went in and stood at this counter, maybe sat. I asked for a, a menu, and 
not a woman acknowledged me in that place for 15, 10 to 15 minutes. And I finally just walked out. There was one set of troopers eating in there. All these locals were in there. And they were like looking at me like I came in with, with you know, a pitchfork and a, a Democratic Bible or something, you know. I mean, it was like I was the odd man out and I didn't exist. So I just left. And I went back up into town and I, I noticed this place, Skeeter's parked right on Main Street. This place was cool. You can go look it up, check the inside out, read up on it. It's got some crazy history. Packed. And it turns out this town is unique. It's got a big courthouse. It's got two state police posts. It's got all this weird government stuff going on in 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 West in Virginia. Um, based out of this town. And so there's all these courts and there was all these lawyers and all these cops in this place. It was hilarious. <laughs> and why does court being open? Because when I opened the door to the place, so it's it's got a, a, a door set back in and there's glass on either side. You know, there's part of the, of the storefront is on either side of the front door. And there's tables in those little spots and tables right along the wall. And as I walk in, there's like state police sitting at like seven tables. <laughs> and I'm like, I walked in and I looked at the one guy goes, Oh, excuse me, wrong place. <laughs> and then I'm in there for a while and I notice maybe I talked to some guys, all these court lawyers were coming in and these judges, cause it's right across the street from these places. So they just walk across the street and come eat. And a uh, cool little town. I talked to a number of people that there's some major parks nearby. 50 miles away is nearby. They go out of their way whenever they're back in that neighborhood to come get hot dogs at Skeeter's. That's the kind of cool place it is. Yeah, I don't It, it was, I, I did read or, or the, somebody told me there about it. There, there was a lot of interesting law enforcement in that town and, and between criminal justice and cops. Um, it's an interesting little town. No, 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 no. <laughs> you ain't getting out of there. <laughs> and never go to Grayson's, okay? Never go to Grayson's. Because uh, strange, you know, I'm comfortable going anywhere. I'm very comfortable in my own skin, you know, and how I look at the time. I got into that damn Grayson's restaurant, and honest to God, I thought Jethro and Martha were going to take me out back and cook me. <laughs> there were some really bizarre groups of people in there eating that were all local. You could tell. They're locals. It's like you walked into a... Um, you know, uh, a small, weird Tennessee or, or West Virginia holler. And, you know, you're immediately not, you're the odd man out, you know. Um, and I've only been in a, a few small towns like that in my life, really, that where you were sort of singled out because you they knew you were different. And they didn't even see the car you were driving. <laughs> He's smiling. There's something wrong with him. <laughs> One of the only other few places in my life I was creeped out was uh, how many here have gone to late night places in Tijuana? Raise your hand. Anyone? Well, I've gone to many. And uh, we walked into a, uh, this is in, like, 89, I don't know, sometime like that. I was at a, out in L.A. for a, a big banquet at the Queen Mary, a big meeting. 
and we drove down to Tijuana after the banquet. Me and this pretty green dude who was at the banquet, and we're dressed up. We're dressed up in suits and long overcoats and, and like, looked like we were Hollywood producers or something, you know. So we got down to TJ. He'd never been anywhere like that in his life. And we go into these bars on the side streets down there off the main drag. And it was a long bar. You come in. had a bar on the left. Had some, like, pub tables in the middle. In the back corner is a set of steps, about four or five steps going up through a curtain. And all the women in there were nude, just wearing high-heeled shoes. And all the guys looked like they just came out of a cartel, uh, a motorcycle gang cartel. Some bad hombres. And that place gave me the creeps. And my friend was shaking. <laughs> he was much younger and green. And we walked in and we walked out. <laughs> Good choice. Might have also been the way we were dressed at the time. Didn't quite fit in, you know. Uh, but we got in trouble when we came back through the border, though. That was fun. <laughs> My sick laugh and some comments we made, because we were probably half drunk, uh, we ended up getting held in a corner by two U.S. Army guys with M-16s. <laughs> or, <laughs> and all these people be walking by, what did they do? What did they do? <laughs> they just messed with us and held us in a corner for like half an hour <laughs> for being stupid, saying stupid stuff. Oh, good times. Good times. Good, good times. I don't even know that guy's name anymore. That's so long ago. Uh, anyway, I'm hanging up. Good night. Peace. Be kind. Check your smoke alarms. Out. Thanks for hanging out.